We're learning more about a woman killed in a hit and run in Kansas City. It is a growing issue here in the Metro. KSHB 41's Grant Stevens gives a voice to those grieving tonight and their call for the community to speak up. I mean, we just start screaming and hollering and crying. Shanika McCarver described that call from police, the one saying her sister, Keita B, had been killed. That's something I would never get out of my mind. I would never, um, I can't sleep right now. Cause every time I close my eyes, I could just imagine he getting that call. Keita was killed in a hit and run. A brother, a sister. A brother who became their sister. Keita B was an active part of the trans community, also feeling this loss. They definitely was a family. They definitely lost a sister and a mother in their community for sure. They look at, at Keita B as an icon. So just how common are scenes like this? KCPD says from 2019 to now, there have been 2,885 crashes involving a pedestrian. A massive number of them, nearly 50% are hit and runs. 94 of those crashes ended with a death. That's even more heartbreaking in that you knew what you've done and you proceeded to, to go. And even if it was an accident, you still hit someone and ran. These numbers are helpful for context, but remember, each numeral represents a name. We don't want Key to be another statistic. Um, we don't want Key to fall under the unsolved hidden ones. It's saying somebody got to speak up. So the community has to start speaking up. In Kansas City, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.